And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's take one more look at that storm tracker. Like I mentioned earlier, we're on the back half of this system. So you can tell right there, seeing those rain, the rain systems moving through, and you can tell it's almost all the way out. And while we are picking up a little bit of clouds here and there, you can tell as of about five minutes ago, already making its way out. That's gonna continue through tonight. And as you can tell, it's not, doesn't have much farther to go. The bulk of the system, which is what brought us that snow earlier in this morning, already on to greener pastures down near Wyoming, heading down towards uh, Nebraska in that direction. But up in Idaho, we're seeing clear skies behind that system. So moving forward, expect to see it to start to clear out. Future tracker not showing much tomorrow, but that's why it's cold. It's still cold because at night we're seeing those temperatures not being insulated. So as we move forward, expect the temperatures to move up a bit but stay towards those lower 50s. We're nowhere near those 60s that we saw earlier. As we hit that, uh, what we're seeing tonight, moisture starts to clear out, like I said, that system's moving on. 23 degrees in Pocatello, 26 in Idaho Falls, so it's hitting dead bottom today, and that's what I was saying, is that there's no insulation in the clouds, so we're only seeing the lowest temperature it can get because of that. Scattered clouds in the central mountains as well, 23, 26, so very cold up in the mountains. And getting into the teens for the highlands of western Wyoming, 17 in Jackson, 13, a cold 13 in Yellowstone, and that moisture does fully move out. Now into tomorrow, it stays out, which will help a little bit, 45 for Island Park, 46 in Jackson, so starting the very slow warm-up. For example, Central Mountains starting to see those 50s again, 52 in Chalice, 51 in Salmon, and still clearing out. Then finally for the Snake River Plains, staying clear, and the temperature's back in the 50s, but not by much, 51 in Pocatello, 53 in Idaho Falls. We were in those upper 40s today, so it is a small improvement, and that's going to continue into that seven day. As you can tell, after Monday, it warms back into the low 60s, but not those upper 60s that we were enjoying before this weekend. Now, you can tell it stays clear for a while, but that will still see a fluctuation in those temperatures, starting to go back down to those low 50s and a possibility of a 40 next weekend, but that's just the natural progression of the season. Expect to see those temperatures starting to drop more and more and more because we are in October, so that means that's going to be the general trend. Idaho Falls very similar, and while they do have scattered rain on Saturday, and Sunday, staying clear until then, and I'll see a lot of those temperatures still in the 50s. So we are seeing a recovering trend into this week instead of just being straight cold from what we saw today. Teton area very similar, although for the most part they're seeing a little bit more of that scattered snow and scattered mix on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Temperatures are cold enough to do that, though their lows are 20, 26, and then finally for the Central Mountains, very similar, seeing those temperatures cold enough with some scattered moisture all the way through the week, and going to see some. Scattered mixed for Wednesday through Friday, scattered rain, so improving a little bit for Saturday and Sunday. So I know you're probably happy that the temperatures kind of are rebounding a bit, but you can't get too used to them, like I said earlier, with that snow that we saw this morning. That but the snow is coming, we're gonna see so that be more prepared. Often. And I'm sure yeah. skiers and snowboarders here, that's music the, to your ears. Yeah, definitely. All right. Coming up.